everybody, my name is Gemma, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening the December Birch Box. It's got some nice packaging on the outside this month. Um, it looks like a Christmas present. Mine was left on my front step by the um, courier and it had a big slug on it. It hasn't got the slug on anymore but it did. Ooh. It's a nice box this month. It's like a floor, red floral design. It's a bit Christmassy, with it being red, I suppose. Oh, it's got little tiny hummingbirds, not like diamante hummingbirds. And a gecko. And there's the design there. It's quite pretty, isn't it? I think that's the nicest box I've seen. Oh, it's Matthew Williamson, that's why. Didn't see that. That's the box. Let's get ready to open it. So the first thing that fell out of the box is a clarifying shampoo. Shampoo by Kibello. The ultimate detox. As you exfoliate your skin, you should exfoliate your hair. Clarifying dark shampoo deep cleanses and rejuvenates, leaving hair revived. Give your hair the treatment it deserves. So that's a little sample size there. Well, the next thing is a Rituals. I've always wanted to try something from the brand Rituals. Uh, Oh, it's a foaming shower gel. Harmonising foaming shower gel. Ooh, well, I've just wasted half of it on the back. I only meant to pump out a tiny bit. It does foam right up. And it smells really nice. Oh, it's full size apparently. Transforming from a rich gel into a luxurious foam on contact with water, this stuff is sure to make add a little magic to your show, morning shower. Infused with soothing sweet almond oil and fragrant Indian rose inspired by ancient beautiful rituals, it delivers a skin softening clean with a beautiful scent that lingers post shower. A recommended retail price, can't speak today, is £4.50. I'm just going to go and wash my hands with this actually, so I'm not wait completely wasting it. That whole pump it. was like enough to probably wash your whole body, it really lathered up on my hands. So, oh, I was noticing this little brush. It's another Spectrum brush, I've had one of these in another birch box. Um, it is the Beato, I think it says, it'll say on here. Um, yeah, B O oh, B O four angle blender brush, full size, four ninety nine. It's a birch box exclusive, so you can't get this elsewhere. Not only does this makeup brush complement the December birch box beautifully, it's an essential tool for creating a festive eye look. The perfect size and shape to fit the contour of your eye. This synthetic brush can be used with powder or cream shadows to shade and define your eyelid. For a foolproof smoky eye or a simple wash of colour so it's just like a traditional angled brush and as they said it is full size so that's quite nice nice useful item it is quite soft and as you can see there's no no hairs coming off there Nip and Fab. I've never tried anything from this brand either. This says it's a kale fix moisturiser, recommended price £14. Green juices and kale salads aren't exactly things that we gravitate towards over the festive season, but that doesn't mean our skin can't. A superfood blend of kale, watercress, aloe vera, and almond oil, this comforting lotion delivers a healthy burst of vitamins and moisture to soothe and rejuvenate your skin. I know you can buy this in my local superdrug, the Nip and Fab range. 
So I'll just put a tiny little bit on my hand this time. Oh, it smells really cucumbery. Yeah. It's a nice fresh smell. I don't think it's something that I would purchase, but we'll give it a go as it was in the birch box. Well, it looks like the last thing that I've got is a little lipstick. I remember last month they said you could choose which one you wanted. I didn't bother, to be honest. I just thought they could surprise me. And they've surprised me with the LOC or LOC Colour Me Confident Vibrant Matte Lipstick. It's in a red colour and it says in here it's full size. Recommended price £6.50. Uh, this punchy cranberry shade will have you all set for party season. Not only is it perfectly festive, but we especially formulated it to stay in place all night without drying lips out. Hella butter smooth texture. Just swipe it across into your lips and block with a tissue. Apply a second coat to amp up the long lasting finish. It's quite nice really, it's quite a classic red lip. Quite easy to apply because as you can see it's like a really tiny slim nib it's we get that much product so it's not bad hopefully it'll go in now <laughs> um yeah so that's quite nice we'll see how it wears so that's that red lipstick quite nice um so that's all we got in the birch box this month not really that exciting is it a shower gel uh, a shampoo a little moisturizer lipstick and the brush I think the best items are obviously the brush and the lipstick, if it's any good. I'll get the lid back on, the lid's gone back on. If it's any good and it lasts well, it is quite a nice matte colour. Um, and obviously I'll try out this, but I'm sure these Spectrum brushes are quite good. I've got two of them already. I've got like a fan brush and then I've got um, the one that you got with the birch box when I first got it. It was like a, a contour brush, a nice pink one. So I really enjoy using that and I like using the little fan brush that I bought from Boots. So hopefully this one will be just as good. Like I've said in a couple of my other birch box on opening videos, I don't think, I only subscribed for six months and that was in August. So I think I've got one more, I think I'll have January's box and then that's it. I don't think I'll carry on with these subscriptions. At the end of the day, I think they're £12 for the month. So you're paying £12 for these little samples. And to be honest, they're not really things that... I don't think there's been ever been anything that I thought, oh my God, I really like this. You know, I don't think I'd like to use this all the time. They're just things to try. Half the things, to be fair, I've just sat there. I've never used like that um, tanning thing that I got last month. Never used that, probably never going to use it. Um, sample size things, you know, are they really worth it? Because you get like, you know, one or two um, tries of this of the product. And like I said, as you're paying for it, I just think there's like other things you could spend your £12 on a month. When you think about it, you could buy yourself a new lipstick or Depending what sort of brat, you can buy yourself a makeup item, couldn't you? Um, every month you could buy one or two makeup items for £12 and something that you really want, full size, which you're really going to use instead of spending it on this. It was nice to try, unless the January box really wows me. None of the other boxes really have. Last month's probably the best one I've got. So, yeah, I don't think I'll be carrying on with Birch box subscription that's just my opinion let me know if you like really love it and you think it's really good value for money and you couldn't you know you wouldn't think of cancelling i think a lot of people just sort of subscribe to these things and then they carry on with them never bother to cancel it um and they just carry on like that you don't miss it coming out out of your bank every month but like i said you know when you think about it properly there's probably other things you could spend 12 pounds on treat yourself
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed having a look to see what's in the birch box. If you're thinking of subscribing yourself, let me know down below. Uh, and that's my review of the December birch box. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Christmas themed videos.